Rank the following three elements in order of increasing atomic radius. Cesium, acetine, nitrogen. Choice A. Cesium, acetine, nitrogen. B. Nitrogen, acetine, cesium. C. Acetine, cesium, nitrogen. D. Cesium, nitrogen, acetine. Whenever we are asked to rank atoms in increasing or decreasing order, there are two key factors we must consider. We must make sure we know what order we need to put them in, and we must know the trend that we are ranking them in terms of, and what physical properties govern the trend. So we see that we are ranking cesium, acetine, and nitrogen in order of increasing atomic radius. Lastly, it is always good to stop and think about, about if the smallest or largest should go first to avoid a careless error. If you are ranking them in increasing order, the smallest should be first and the largest should be last. Again, we can get all of the information we need to determine the atomic radius of an atom by its location in the periodic table. Atomic radius is referring to the size of an atom, including both the nucleus and the electron cloud. So, we must think about the physical properties and forces that control an atom's size. The bulk of the atom's size is due to the electron cloud, as the nucleus is very compact. The first part of the trend is clear to see. Atoms increasing in size, from top to bottom in a column of the periodic table. This is because with the addition of each row to the periodic table, a whole new shell of electrons is added to the atom. We can think of each shell of electrons as a layer of sorts. Increasing the number of layers logically increases the size or bulkiness of an atom. The second part of the trend is somewhat surprising. Atomic radius increases in size from right to left in a row of the periodic table. This seems counterintuitive because atoms gain at least a proton and an electron as you move from left to right across a row, making each atom larger in mass, even though they are smaller in size. The reason for this decrease in size is twofold. First, the additional subatomic particles gained as you move across the row do not greatly increase the atom size. The added electron is being placed in the same shell or layer of each previous atom's electrons, and the added proton is added to the nucleus, which has very little contribution to the overall size of the atom. The second reason deals with interparticle forces between the positively charged protons in the nucleus and the negatively charged electrons. The addition of a proton for each subsequent element in a row means the nucleus becomes more positive as you move across. Each additional electron is being added to the same layer whose radius doesn't greatly increase with the addition. For this reason, all electrons in the same layer feel a stronger attraction for the nucleus each time a proton is added. Because of this stronger attraction, they are held more tightly and want to be closer to the nucleus and shrinking the size of the atom. However, electrons in an outer shell will have this attraction shielded by electrons in inner shells, which is why size still increases as you move down a column. Now let's look at the atoms we're ranking and find them in the periodic table. Clearly, nitrogen has the smallest atomic radius and is so much higher in the periodic table than cesium and acetine and should be listed first. Next is acetine, since it is to the right of the cesium in the same row. Last and largest in the atomic radius is cesium. Therefore, the correct answer is choice B.